Hey guys, my name is Dorivik and I'm a third year physical therapy student here in the Philippines. For today's video, we will talk about sliding filament theory. But before we jump into it, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so that you'll get updated to my latest videos, and give this a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. Now let's start with a short discussion about skeletal muscles. We have muscle tissue which has the ability to develop tension in response to electrical, mechanical, and chemical stimuli, while the connective tissue has the ability to develop tension in response to passive loading. Therefore, the muscle tissue is contractile and the connective tissue is non-contractile. And then now let's proceed to composition of muscle fiber. So let's say this one is a muscle. So each muscle is made up of a group of muscle fibers called fascicles. And then each muscle fiber is enclosed in a cell membrane called sarcolemma. And then just like any other cells that are made up of cytoplasm, in a muscle cell, it is called sarcoplasm. And then contained in sarcoplasm is a myofibril that is divided into myofibrillar structures and non-myofibrillar structures. When we say non-myofibrillar structures, these are made up of ribosomes, mitochondria, and others that are responsible for cell metabolism. While when we say myofibrillar structures, this is made up of myofilament that is divided into myosin and actin. When we say actin, it is a thin myofilament of protein that is divided into tropomyosin and troponin. When we say tropomyosin, it is attached to each troponin. Well, when we say troponin, it is attached in the notches between two actin strings. So when we say myosin, it is a thick myofilament protein. To help you better understand the myosin and the actin, we have here the drawing. So this one is an actin myofilament of protein or the thin myofilament of protein. While well, this one here is the myosin filament of protein or the thick myofilament of proteins. So for this one, we have these circles. These are the actin molecules, these circles. Well, this one here are the troponin. Troponin is found at the notches between two actin strands. At the notches between two actin strands. While the tropomyosin, this one here, is tropomyosin, is a thin molecule that is along the strand of the actin. While this one here, which is the myosin filament of protein, it shows the head groups. This and this, this and this are the head, head groups. Then, dito na papasok si sliding filament theory. It's the sliding of thin myofilament of protein or the actin towards the thick myofilament of protein or the myosin that generates tension and results to the shortening of muscle fiber. So this one here is a sarcomere. Sarcomere is also known as the unit of the muscle cell. But before we discuss further, this one here is the myosin. As you can see, this one is thick, right? While this one here is the actin. So again, when we say sarcomere, it is the unit of muscle cell, and it is in between two Z disc. Between just a two Z disc. When we say Z disc, it's the boundaries of the sarcomere that links together all the actin filaments. That's the Z disc. When we say A bond, it is the overlapping of the thin filaments or the actin 
and the thick filament or the myosin. As you can see, there is an overlapping kasi umabot na dito si thin filament. Well, when we say eye band, it only contains the thin myofilament of proteins or what we call the actin. While the H zone only contains the myosin filament or the thick filament of protein without the overlap because it's here. Well, when we say M bond, M bond is the central portion of the H zone that connects the myosin together. It connects the myosin together. This one is the M bond. And therefore, M bond is the wide portion of the myosin, the wide middle portion of the myosin. Because this one here is the M band in a vertical position. Of course, to make this easier for you to remember, hindi mawawala ang ating mnemonics. So we have HAI. For H, that is H zone. Ang mnemonics na rin is hala, himala, nawala. Ibig sabihin, H zone disappears. And then for A or A band, alang nangyari. Ibig sabihin, it stays the same while A Ikli, that's for I-band, ibig sabihin, it is narrow. And we have different stages for sliding filament interaction, also known as cross-bridge interaction. We have rest, coupling, contraction, recharging, and relaxation. Now, the first stage is rest. As you can observe, wala pang changes na nangyari. And that is because the troponin covers the active sites on the actin myofilament and the ATP is still attached to the head of the myosin myofilament. The second stage is coupling. Ito na yung stage na nag-arrive na ang muscle action potential causing depolarization. And because of that, the calcium ions are released and it reacts with the troponin. And as you can observe, nagkaroon ng changes sa shape ng troponin calcium complex causing it to uncover the active sites sa actin. Now, because open na ang active sites sa actin, a cross bridge couples with the adjacent active site, therefore linking the myosin and actin myofilament. Next stage is contraction. As you can observe, ang ATP ay naging ADP na lang because such reaction produces flexion of the cross bridge allowing the actin myofilament to be pulled short distance past the myosin filament, and the Z-disc are now moved closer together. Next stage is recharging. Ito yung point na kung saan hindi na nakalink together si actin and si myosin, thereby allowing rephosphorylation of ATP on the cross bridge. The last stage is relaxation. It happens because wala nang excitation na nangyari. So when there is no longer excitation, the calcium ions will now be removed from the vicinity of the actin myofilament and will return to the storage site of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And then the troponin returns to its original shape, covering again the active sites on the actin myofilament. That's it guys! Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from me today. And if that's the case, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up for YouTube algorithm. See you on my next vlog.